John, prepare for flight. Jade is not answering. Are you sure she's okay? She's asleep. She sure seems to sleep a lot. She sort of reminds me of my goober teammate. He napped through most of the adventure and was practically useless. Oh, you mean Carcino Geneticist? <laughs> no way! Carcat is so uptight, he hardly slept a wink over the whole 600 hour span of our quest. He didn't even wake up on the moon until after we won the game. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> Carcat. That's how I'm saying that. Beep beep meow. I have to remember to give him a hard time about that. John, you are pretty weird. I can see why you would piss him off so much. It's really not that hard to do that. Tell me about it. Speaking of telling me about things, why don't you tell me what you were just dreaming about that was so important, fellow Prospit dreamer? Prospit is the best. Durst is where all the rejects hang out, am I right? I never even saw Prospit. Aside from flaming bits and pieces of it, I guess. Something happened and it blew up and Dream Jade died and I was wandering around this place that was like a chessboard with a huge crater in it with lots of dead black and white guys everywhere. Yes, I know all that. That place is the battlefield, which is where your dream self lives now. You will appear there any time you go to sleep. Prospect dreamers are supposed to end up there eventually, if they're any good, that is. But you got there so much sooner. Normally, a dreamer's journey to the battlefield will not be so spectacularly sudden and violent. Meteoric, if you will. Oh, huh. But you didn't answer my question. What was so important that you wanted to go back to sleep again for? My dad was there. What's that? Uh, you know, my guardian. Oh, you mean the adult male human who lived in your hive? Yeah, if by hive you mean house. <laughs> I was wondering about that. I was like, what the hell is this guy doing in this kid's hive? Where is his Lucis? Is he an orphan contending with some sort of meddlesome grown-up squatter? Um, those observations are very alien of you. But that's pretty cool, I guess, seeing as you're an alien. Yes, I just chalked it up as generic alien weirdness and didn't think too much about it. Just another series of strange exhibits from an inferior civilization. The funny thing is, he's not even really my dad. I mean, I was adopted by him, although we are not actually unrelated, I think. He is the son of my grandmother, who isn't really my grandmother. Nana is sort of like my biological mother, my biological father would be Jade's grandpa, sort of. But of which I just created with slime and stuff and set back in time as babies, so I guess if anything that makes my dad my half-brother? Huh. Tell me about it. Wait! Before you wander too far off course like a doofus, you need to know how to get to a return node, so you can get back to your computer. Here, hang on. I'm making you a map. Uh, but I know where I'm going. Therese already made me a map. What? First, she made me a really crappy one, then a really nice one that worked sort of like Google. She started helping me after she tried to kill me. Ugh, she is still trying to one-up me, I see, even preempting my awesome helpfulness. When did she do that? I mean, from my perspective. Do you think she already did it or hasn't done it yet? Wow, how could I possibly know that? I don't know, forget it. I will show her, though. I will show her the meaning of helpfulness. I will help this little human nerd under the table. The very same table you dined at, while I waited on you prong and fucking nub. You mean like a candlelight hate date? God, no! With a human? Gross! Oh, well then, thanks I guess? Why do you want to be so helpful anyway? I mean, with her I got the sense that she was being kind of jokestery about it, which is something I can understand, but why bother helping if we aren't gonna win anyway? You won't win? Says who? You guys. It's practically all you ever say. Well, okay, yes. You are screwed, and so are we. But so what? Just because you're going to fail doesn't mean it won't be any fun along the way. By the looks of things, you have a very exciting 24 hours ahead of you. It'll be one hell of a reckoning. That's nice to know. Yes, and besides, continuing on this path and bringing Jade into the game, I think you will agree, is very important. And not just because she's your friend and you would be kind of upset if she died, again. Yeah, I think I would be, but why else? 
Because you need to complete your prototyping chain. Only when all players have entered with a prototyped kernel does the battlefield assume its final form. That form prepares Skya to grow the new universe you will create. Or in this case, fail to create, but whatever. That is no reason to deter you from completing worthwhile game objectives. We're supposed to create a universe? Yeah, you didn't realize that yet? No. Boy, how clueless can you get? Why are we supposed to do that? What a stupid question! It is the point of the game. It's what happens when you win, and winning is the only point of anything. Oh, that's true, I guess. Anyway, you should be glad it's the point, and you should be glad your predecessors were not such a sad sack group of players like you guys. Otherwise, your universe would not exist, seeing as we created it by being incredible in every way. Y you did? Yep, you're welcome. Hmm. I don't know what to think about that. Not knowing what to think about things appears to be your specialty. Brr, oh man, what a burn! JK, that was actually lame. <laughs> Well, to be honest, I never really believed any of your guys' doom and gloom nonsense. Not because I think you're lying, I just feel like there must still be a way to win. That's the spirit, John. That is a winner's attitude, and there is always hope for someone who has that. Yeah, I agree. Also, there's always hope for someone who has good friends to count on. <sighs> Lame. Now, John, return. <laughs> Ah! Ips! John, dispatch these pests. That is it! Everybody out! You are dead serious! <sighs> John, examine room. Look at this mess! Will you look at this slightly bigger mess than usual? John, examine your computer. They chucked it out the window! Little oily bastards! You'll have to get your hands on a new one somehow. Now, examine your posters. Oh, this is just insult to injury! You almost want to cry. Just look at that face! A sad face. A forlorn face. Vriska, what's his deal? John, why are you standing around wasting time? Um, I don't know. You can see my future, can't you? How much time am I wasting? Enough to make me wonder what the hell your deal is. That I would venture to guess I am wasting time because you chose to pester me just now. Damn it, John, stop sounding smarter than me. It is unbecoming of someone so inferior. I mean, I was just pausing for a moment to look at my trashed movie posters. They bring back memories of a life that I guess is long gone now. But you probably know what that is all about. Yeah, I know. It wasn't even that long ago, but it really seems like forever since I was on Earth. It was a really nice place. I bet you would have liked it. It seems a little too sunny for my liking. Well, what about you? Do you miss your planet and your parents and such? The life I left behind wasn't so hot, to be honest. Well, that's too bad. Why don't we not talk about that? What are these movies, anyway? They look just awful. But you see, that is where you're wrong. These films are the finest Earth has to offer. Are they about clowns? No, no, I drew those clowns in my sleep for some reason. Uh... This one here is so great! It's about this street-tough renegade who did a hard time behind bars, and wants nothing more in the world than to reunite with his loving wife and daughter. But not so fast! He has to go on crazy and dangerous escapades through the sky with a motley assortment of rogues led by John Malkovich, who is wise to Cage's heroic nature and pure heart. They tether a grumpy policeman's awesome car to a plane and smash it, and they later crash into some casinos, Cage gets out of the wreckage and hugs his family, and I usually tear up a little. That is my working troll title for the movie. I hope it was okay. John, even though your title is quite amusing and probably kind of cute, that movie sounds hilariously bad. Yeah, well, you are hilariously wrong! Here, hang on, I'll show you. There! Oh, but you'll probably have to use your troll thingy to rewind time or whatever. So before the Earth internet blew up so you can watch it. Is this like the Earth equivalent of GrubTube or something? I guess? Man, I am not watching this shitty video. It looks so bad. Okay, suit yourself. But there it is in case you're ever hankering after some incredible movie magic. Okay, I will be sure to bookmark it and label it Dumb Kids Retarded Nonsense. Okay, good idea. 
By the way, why aren't you using your computer glasses to talk suddenly? This device seems less efficient and doesn't look as cool. Oh, the goggles are cool and all, but they kind of restrict my vision stupidly when I use them. I should remember to make a new hands-free device that is less intrusive. Maybe after I make a new computer so I can install this game. How will you duplicate it? Isn't it smashed out there on your lawn ring? Yeah, but I can still use one of my old previously punched cards. Oh, great. Uh, John? What? Okay, I will slide you a break because clearly your block was just ransacked, but maybe you want to put that away? Somewhere discreet where you usually keep it? There is at least one girl spying on you right now, you know. Put what away? What are you talking about? Your pail is showing, stupid! My pail? You mean this bucket here? Yes! Come on! Will you take a hint and show some decorum? Um, I'm really not following. What do you have against buckets? Man, nothing really. It's just... Okay, maybe humans don't really have any sense of shame over this sort of thing? Shame over what? It's just a bucket! You know, for putting soapy water in and cleaning stuff with. Why? What do trolls use them for? Oh. <laughs> yeah, of course. That's what I was talking about. Your cleaning bucket. In troll culture, we consider cleaning products to be really indecent or something. I am blushing furiously about it right now. Please try to be sensitive to my cultural ways and understandings. Wow, uh... That is... definitely pretty odd. But, okay, I... I'm sorry you saw my bucket. I'll just chuck it out the window, I guess. Thank you, John. That is very gentlemanly of you. Now will you quit shitting around and get on with it? God! Well, I was going to, but you started babbling at me. Jeez, Spitterette. That isn't my real name, you dope. Okay, then what is it? I ain't telling you that. It's a secret. Ugh, <sighs> Roll's eyes. All eight gross spidery eyes. Oop, I mean, exclamation point times eight... You don't even need to say that. I can see you rolling your eyes, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, John, discard sordid receptacle. Now exit to your balcony. What a surprise, more lousy imps are having their way with the place. You wonder where Nana could be? Someone needs to get this motley assortment of rogues under control. Now what in the hell is going on over there? Oh no, more embarrassing cleaning apparatus. You've got to hide it before Secret Spinneret or whatever her name was sees it and gets upset. John, a sail rogue. Get that shit out of here! Ugh, being culturally sensitive is really hard work. John, now look up. Oh, it looks like someone's server player has been busy. Now John, pester someone's server player. Hey, Rose! Hi. How you doing? I don't even remember the last time we talked. I've been so busy. Looks like you've been too. I mean, hoopy shit! My house is huge! Actually, building up your house has been one of the more trivial ways I've passed the time. Great swaths of the structure may be copied and pasted with little architectural consideration. I've only bothered to do so while in contemplation. It's relaxing. Oh. Well, it must have cost a fortune! We have a lot of grist. How much? I don't recall any hard figures offhand. Last I checked, more than a million units of several different types. Torrented between the three of us. Torrented? Shared. Through an application. I unlocked the disk from your registry and deployed it. I convinced your Nana to install it on your computer. Before an imp threw it out the window, that is. You got her to do that? But she's an old lady, also a ghost. My methods of persuasion have been improving. Also, she is really tricky and plays lots of pranks. Did she try to prank you? No. Huh. I guess you enjoyed the pranksters gambit on that exchange, then. Hmm? Oh, yeah. What's up with the alchemeter? It looks weird. Upgrades. Did you get Nana to do that, too? No, your consorts were utilized for that. The salamanders? Yes. They seem eager to receive simple instruction. I'm guessing they find their way back to your house to allow the client player to remain productive while the server player is away. They aren't very smart. No, they aren't. I'm surprised they even understand what to do. Like I said, 
coercion hasn't been much of a problem. Yeah, uh, what exactly does that mean? What have you been doing this whole time? Why don't you tell me what you've been up to first? I've been curious, but too preoccupied to inquire. Well, I've been talking to a lot of trolls for one thing. They sure are a talkative bunch. I've noticed. And then I cloned some slime babies in the veil. Did you? Yes, uh, okay. Long story short is, Jade is my slime clone sister, and Dave is your slime clone brother, and we were all born today. Yes. Yes. I figured that out. Oh. Anything else? Um, then I fell asleep and I woke up on the battlefield. Oh, Rose, I'm fairly sure I saw your mom. You did? Are you sure it was her? Well, it was a nice and proper looking lady with a pink scarf, so I don't know, who else would that be? That was likely her. How was she? Fine, I guess. She was with my dad. That's interesting. Yeah. Did she seem happy? Happy? Wow, I don't know. I don't really know her well enough to say, I guess. Plus, I was a little distracted. Maybe I'll find out the next time I go to sleep. Fair enough. Now stop being so spookily mysterious and tell me what you've been doing. Investigating, mostly. Investigating what? Everything there is to investigate. Information hidden in the lore of our lands, concealed in ruins and riddles. I'm looking for whatever there is to discover about the game, and more importantly, whatever exceeds its boundaries. The cloaked traces of myth beyond its scope. Its scope? Oh, Rose, did you know that we're supposed to be creating a universe of this game? Yes. I think it's pretty neat! It is, in principle. But it won't happen. So you believe the trolls, then? It's not a matter of believing them. The writing is on the wall. Literally. It is? This session was never meant to bear fruit. It's barren, so to speak. That's a bit of a bummer. Still skeptical about that, though. That's why you're our leader, John. Huh? Optimism through stalwart skepticism is a defect not everyone is lucky enough to be cursed with. That's stupid! I'm not your leader, I'm your friend! There is a big difference! Statements like that are also why you're our leader. Flame! Yes, kind of. So if you're sure that we're gonna fail, what is the point of everything we're doing? Simple. The objective is no longer to win. Um, I mean, what are we actually shooting for here? To do as much damage to the game as possible. To rip its stitches and pry answers from the seams. We will snatch purpose from the jaws of futility. Are you ready to wreak some havoc, John? I suddenly don't understand anything. Salamancer, wand, please. Thank you, Viceroy. It is way more dramatic relying on a familiar than a boring old Silidex. Now, Rose, investigate. Rose, answer. Okay, this will probably strike you as an odd moment for me to mention this, but actually, there are not many moments I've observed on your timeline which wouldn't qualify as odd, and somehow, your idle moments seem to invite interruption the least, and this is a difficult topic for me to broach for reasons that you probably won't understand. You're rambling again, Kanaya. Okay, sorry. I've just been meaning to say that I read your instructional guide. Now, Rose, be the troll girl. You are suddenly the troll girl in a different game session in the past. Kanaya, confer with leader. Your speech was really emotional. Okay, I definitely don't need you busting my bulge about the speech now. I've taken enough shit. I got a little worked up, okay? And if you have something to say, why don't you come say it to my face? I'm fed up with these backdoor nook-biting shenanigans. I don't mean to critique your speech, I just wanted to ask you something in confidence about the humans. Okay, what is it? 
Are you sure they're responsible for our misfortune? Yes! There is no doubt about it! Was it on account of malice or incompetence? I don't know. Maybe both? Why does it matter? It sort of does. I'm not even that sure why. This is a difficult topic for me to broach, for reasons that you probably won't understand. God damn it! No more mysteries! Please! You'd think we'd had our fill of them by now. If I have to solve one more riddle, I'm going to... I don't know. Will your response involve an athletic maneuver of some sort? No, absolutely not. I will just go over there and weep gently in the horn pile. Seriously, what is this about? Um... What I can tell you is they are all ludicrously incompetent. Soft, pink, fragile things who do nothing but waste time. They don't even have horns. What? Really? Yeah, I was like, whoa, did they get filed down or something? But no, it turns out that's just how they are. Weird. They're a miserable, pointless crop of life forms from a meaningless, boring pustule of a planet. It's infuriating that they were somehow allowed to have any influence over us. It is pretty disheartening, but... You are absolutely sure they are all failures, and that they have no chance of succeeding. Yep, it's all right here. I'm not sure which depresses me more, the sabotage of our session or the futility of theirs. What are you talking about? You're being really weird about this. Well, I haven't asked what I wanted to ask. Then ask! It's about Tentacle Therapist. Yeah, that's the Rose Human. She's apparently pretty sarcastic. It's in my notes. You have notes on them? Yes. I guess that's why you're our leader, Karkat. No, I'm your leader because of my incredible tactical skills and my ability to mobilize and motivate a bunch of useless people toward a common goal. And because I'm extremely ambitious and intrepid. Also, because leadership is in my blood, we've been over this. Statements like that are also why you're our leader. Okay, I'll accept that. Have you talked to her? Who? The Rose Human. Also, do we really have to say things like the Rose Human? Of course we do! It sounds suitably disdainful. I mean, if a bunch of aliens started hassling you, you would expect them to act really high and mighty and superior in every way, right? Which we are, of course. Uh, okay. And no, I haven't talked to her. I will probably steer clear of her for the most part. I have my sights set on the John human, and probably also the Jade human. She's a huge culprit too. It just feels really silly when we say things like the John human in confidence amongst ourselves. We have to commit to this. Stay in character, you know? Remember the speech? The speech has become emblazoned on my thinkpan, virtually ensconced in the fold of my personal mythology. Did you want to troll her? Are you volunteering? Because that would be great. I'd really appreciate that. I don't know. I'm not sure if I've got it in me right now. Come on! You'll be great at it! Please, just do this one thing for me? We've got to stay coordinated on this. Too many of these fucks are going rogue. Like. What are we even doing? Fine. Uh, great! Thanks, Kanaya. I'll expect a full report soon. A report about what? Like, how hassled you got her to be? But less uh, stupid sounding than that. Is there a metric for that concept? No? Well, there could be. We can gauge the results with the flighty broads and their snarky horseshit meter That seems just as disparaging to me as it is to her. Yeah, well... Use it as motivation. I gotta get cracking here, later. Kanaya, troll the Rose Human. You begin trolling the Rose Human even though you aren't really feeling this at all. You can't seem to figure out how to get the viewport feature to work. You muddle through the first conversation blind. She does not prove to be the intellectual adversary you anticipated, but this is no longer all that surprising now knowing the true fate of her team. Nevertheless, you manage to find yourself vehemently fondling the short end of the antagonism stick. The flighty broads and their snarky horse shitometer ticks a few notches in her favor. 
Your aggravation and curiosity are simultaneously picked. You wish you could get a look at her. Kanaya, open viewport. There she is. How underwhelming. No horns. Skin as white as a ghost. You wonder how she manages to look in a mirror without falling asleep. You resume your stance of alien complacency. The snarky horse shitometer ticks back in your favor. Kanaya, keep viewing. You continue to spy on the rose human. What's that nonsense she wrote on her walls? What did she do to her totem lathe, idiot? Oh dear god. <gasps> the exhibit of depravity maxes out your side of the horse shitometer. You had this girl wrong all along. She is an utter buffoon. You hope nobody caught you looking at that. The horse shitometer swings back to her side as she has inadvertently caused you to flush with the shame of 1,000 cocoon-wedding children. You win this round, Lalonde.